and welcome back to another video. So, I'm just going to do an update video on uh, the uh, uh, unit utilities. Uh, yeah, world utilities, I think it's called. Go to settings. I'm just going to double check. So it should be in behavior, active. Uh, yeah, world utilities. Uh, this is this is one of my personal favorite add-on packs, um, and the fact that it's got an update is uh, yeah pretty good because if I'm not mistaken, this is the first update it's ever had. I don't remember ever getting any updates before. So we've got this new thing, World Utilities Controller. So if I right-click, so we can enable and disable things. So we can like enable durability, vein miner breaks gravel, all oh, that's cool. Uh, tree capitator breaks leaves, yes! Oh my god, they upgraded the upgraded tree capitator! Oh hold on. Uh give at P tree capitator. So I'm just going to show this off real quick. Uh, I'm just going to go into game mode one. Get set. Let's get some uh, jungle saplings and some bone meal. Plant the four saplings down. Bone meal it up. And I'm just going to go into survival again. And, oh, I don't have an... Uh, give FP on my tool bonk. Oh yeah, it break, it's breaking the leaves! Oh, it's, I've been waiting for so long for uh, for one of the, these uh, tree cavitators to break the leaves. Oh, that is so cool, finally! Ugh. Oh yeah, and the, uh, how many leaves have durability now? So if I go down here... Uh, and then if I just break some blocks down here, yeah, they have durability now, which in my opinion makes them much more balanced um, compared to the like vanilla stuff, uh, because before they uh, would wear just like infinite durability and you didn't have to worry about uh, repairing them or anything, so having them be have infinite durability, uh, having limited durability is good. Um, and I'm just going to put the tree update in there. Uh oh. Uh, um, I don't think that should have happened. That's not good. Uh, Give at the well. Oh, the ah, there we go. Update block. There we go. And for using the world utility add on, we are committed to providing constant updates uh, to favor the answer survival experience. Please read through our change log. View all. Additions and latest update. You can now enable or disable different tools and abilities through the controller. So yeah. Oh, you can. Well, not in creative mode. Okay. That is a bit of a downside. Uh, having to be in creative mode to use this. And you're not getting any achievements with adults anyway. So. Uh, so yeah, you got. End frame breaker, excavator shovel, explosive pickaxe, harvest. Harvester hoe, miners essentials, multi block pickaxe, on my tools, safari net, to spawn a wrench, tree capitator, vein miner, void chest, durability, 
And yeah, those yeah, you can disable and enable all of them if you're in creative mode, which is good for. Which I guess it's good for like if you're hosting a realm, so you can like uh, disable stuff you don't want it. That's so that is a good change. Uh, durability on t tools on and off through the controller. It's getting yeah good better for balancing. Added the harvester hoe to automatically replant broken crops. So let's uh, have a look at that. Uh, oh, I want to be in survival. Harvest. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. I need to click that. Oh, there we go. Harvester hoe. It is a, a wheat seed, a melon seed, a pumpkin seed, a cocoa bean, a wheat, a beetroot seed, a potato, a carrot, and a diamond hoe. Honestly, was not expecting that. Um, can I craft this? I, I have melons and pumpkins. I can get those seeds easily. So, melon seed. Pumpkin seed. Uh, if I go over here, these are food, so I need carrot, potato, uh, wheat, and I just need seeds. I don't know where I would count for like a season here. Oh, yes, cocoa beans. Oh, lots of pumpkin seeds in here. Um, hmm. I don't know where, if I have any other seeds. I should have wheat seeds somewhere. Would it be in there? No, that's. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to give. Give. At he seed, so we want wheat, wheat seed, beetroot, beetroot seeds. Uh, what else do I need? Uh, I can get melon. Yes, yeah, so I just need a diamond hoe now, which is two diamonds and a stick, which is pretty easy. Diamond hoe, harvester hoe. There we go. So let's. Go harvest. So do I, or, so let's see, do I right click? No, left click. Okay, yeah, so it's not in an area. So you just break it. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Automatically replants it. And it erases the seeds as well, so it's kind of fine. I mean, if you if you've got like a farm like mine, you don't really want all the wheat seeds. But if you do want wheat seeds, then you're probably not going to be super keen on this. Oh, I did get one wheat seed, so I don't know. Uh, so it erases. It's supposed to erase all of them, but apparently some of them still get through. when I right click the door that's odd must be a bug yeah that's pretty cool definitely useful if not if a little bit glitchy with the audio uh, 
uh, to your ability, Harvester. You can now automatically smelt uh, mined ores with the Miner's Essential Utility. Yeah, damn it, bug. Well, there it is. So it's just eight furnaces around the uh, diamond pickaxe. Not too bad. So eight furnaces. I'm just going to grab it. The last walls. That's it. That's a stack of cobblestone and a diamond pickaxe. have a cool uh, little sprite though. Give at P I on four. Let's get ten iron ore. Uh, I'm gonna turn, I think I have been iron off on this already. Yeah, ore breaker off because it's a bad ore breaker. So uh, I'm going to use the only tool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Got some stuff. Iron ore. Raw iron. But it is just like one pair. But you get on, get one raw iron pair anyway. Now, something I want to test out real quick is. They said that you can also you can now also enchant these if I remember correctly. Let's get a couple of these. Yep, unbreaking fortune sharp. Okay, sharpness, mending and efficiency. Unbreaking Fortune Mending Efficiency. Unbreaking Fortune Mending and Efficiency. So now I want to test to see if the uh, smelting thing will take into account that I have fortune. Or will it still just give me 10? Also, I want to jump 10 in there. Let's see. Yeah, it does take into account that you have fortune. That is cool. Yeah, because I almost double the. Yeah, so that's definitely fortune. So yeah, that is, that is actually really cool because um, Tinker's construct has a material that uh, gives you auto smelt on your pickaxe, but it doesn't. Uh, the auto smelt on the pickaxe does not. Um, yeah, you know, it doesn't apply fortune. 
So I know that uh, there was a problem with like some. So also I want to test uh, with the test fortune of this. So if I break this with my fist, that only gives me like a couple. I break it with this, gave me five. Yeah, three seems to be like three to five. This will just like, give me a couple. Oh! Does it not need to be in your hand? Oh, it doesn't even need to be in your hand for it to be found. Yeah, but it, yeah, so this also does apply fortune. Uh, the fortune does hit work with the harvester. I think they probably didn't have durability on these tools because they couldn't get the enchantments working. Now they've got the enchantments working now that you added the ability to add durability. Uh, smells with uh, multi pickaxe. Well, mine multiple blocks at once with the excavator shovel. Oh, they've added a new shovel. EXE. <laughs> There's just three diamond shovels and the, the two sticks. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh. Mm. Three of them. One of them. Uh, just gonna check that this can be enchanted. I have no reason to assume it wouldn't, but always best to not assume. Also. Yep, so touch and then yeah, I'm breaking, mending, and efficiency. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of deer down here. I can test it on. Oh. Yeah, it takes a lot of dirt. And it doesn't break anything that's not dead. Which is good if you're like uh, trying to only clear out specifically dirt and don't want to like break torches that aren't on dirt. Yeah, digs in a three by three. We. And yes, it is fun to use. And enchantments do apply because I got grass. Yeah, not as uh, useful as, say, the uh, multi-block pickaxe, but it, yeah, I definitely uh, you uh, I definitely use it if I was like terraforming an area and I needed to clear it out quickly. What are you doing? Okay, wandering trader spawning my item uh, water path thing and these dangling in his llama. Pretty sure that's animal abuse and breach. Anyway. Um Oh wait, I forgot I have that there. Go down. Yeah. Anyway. Harvester. Uh, uh activate the shovel. Capture mobs and move them to a different area with the safari net. Now this is something that was in the Java edition, so let's see how it compares. So Safari. Did I misspell Safari? What if I just pin net? Yep, 
get safari nets right there. Eh, a little bit expensive with uh, with eight cobwebs and an egg, because cobwebs are not renewable. So give that P egg. Give that P cob. Web eight. So you craft the safari net. Uh, let's go find something to capture. Uh, you. Yeah, you just right click. And it's just so yeah, it's firing out. Oh yeah, it, it, and it tells you there fox. So it has a fox in it. So now I've got this fox. I can take this wherever I want to. So let's say I wanted it in here. I just like right click. Oh, it does break after one use. That is annoying. How? Okay, I guess I hold that make sure at some point in time. Uh, it would be nice if they didn't break, especially because, like I said, cobwebs are a non-renewable resource, if I'm not mistaken. Because they only spawn in abandoned mine shafts. So they're not, and they're strongholds. They're not super difficult to get a hold of, but a little bit annoying that, they, that it's only a single-use item. Uh, added vein line of support for combine. Oh, oh, that's cool! Oh, they're actually supporting each other now. Cool. That's so. Yeah, this is uh, some cross add-on compatibility. That is really cool. Added vein line of support for Tinker's construct tools. Uh, as well, that's cool. Why is it? Yeah. Fix a handful of bugs and the uh, more additional optimizations. Added the uh, fully full enchantment support for custom tools, including compatibility with vein mine, a tree cap data, and more. Yeah, so let's uh, get some... Do I have vein... No, I don't have the vein miner on me, so it's... If I go into one of these chests, it'll be in here somewhere. Uh, bah, bah, bah. It was one of the earliest uh, reviews I did. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, oh, no, that's tree cap top. And it's also probably the one I put in earlier. A uh, bunch of missing spaces because I only installed a bunch of add-ons because they were starting to break with the amount of add-ons in the world. That's just unique to this world because this world is very... doesn't really like add-ons very much. Um, I cannot find the vein line in here. Huh. I'll just give myself it. Give that be vein. Vein miner. Boom. I saw some ore in here. Yeah, there's 18 ore there. So you said, oh yeah! Yeah, vein miner now works with uh, Tinker's Construct. That is really cool! Oh, I love that, yeah, because um, I was playing a modded survival world and I was constantly having to carry, carry around an iron pickaxe so vein miner would work. So yeah, it is really cool. Oh, I love that they are actually like uh, supporting other add-ons. Oh, that's so cool. I don't have combined ores on this world right now. So I can't show you that, unfortunately, you right now because I can't be really bothered to go out. But yeah, it works with... Uh, Tickers construct, so I assume it'll work with uh, combined ores. Um, I'll give them a benefit of the doubt. Yeah, oh, this is just so. That they have uh, made this a lot better. Yeah, like compatibility and compat adding compatibility with other add-ons and just improving features already existing and adding features to it. Yeah. This is a really good update, and uh, yeah, this is still this add-on is still pretty much my must-have. The my like if if I could only have one add-on in a Minecraft world, it would be this add-on, followed closely by like Tinker's Construct, just because I love 
think it's constructed. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, uh, and the the, the, um, the essentials add-on is starting to fall behind again because it only only recently that, like they released an update to their add-on that made it that made their tree capitator as good as uh, the world the utilities one, and uh, and then I guess the world utilities guys was like. Wait a minute, their tree captain isn't as good as ours. We can't have that. Let's make ours even better. So now they're st now they've fallen. So yeah, we're, uh, yeah, the essentials has fallen behind again, um, which is st it's still a good add-on. It's just like I said, it just need said in my uh, update to video on it. It just needs to, but it basically needs to catch up to. Uh, World Utilities with its Vein Miner, its Tree Capitator now, AGAIN! And it's a, uh, well essentially if it is its Gravestone, well that's not even a World Utilities, that's just a free, uh, Gravestone add-on. So, yeah! Uh, hope you guys all did enjoy this update video. Hope to, hope to see you guys in the add-on reviews that are coming up in the, uh, next few days, because I have some... I'm about to go record a bunch, so yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy. Hope to see you guys in the next video that I do, and or live stream, and bye bye